Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be talking about 1.21 as we are now in 2024 and snapshots should start soon for the rest of this update. We are currently in 1.20.5 snapshots so that cycle will finish first before they start in 121 snapshots. That doesn't mean we won't see any new features. Going off of last year, the first thing I want to talk about is them announcing more things coming to 121, as they said they will be doing that. Just like last year, they announced the main features at Minecraft Live, and then later on, they announced the uh, mob head sounds on note blocks, they announced cherry blossoms, they announced archaeology, and they also announced smithing templates. They said they'll be doing that again this year. Maybe there might not be as many features, or maybe there might be more. We are not too sure. But the first thing that was announced in the new year was on the 24th of January, which is about two weeks away from the time of recording this video. Now, it might not be the 24th of January this year. It could be more towards February. We have to wait and see on when they release the snapshot. But one thing that is confirmed is inside of the next snapshot or a future snapshot, the armadillo will have some changes where the eyes are moved from the front of it to the side of it. It's a visual change only and doesn't affect the armadillo as far as we are aware. But I've seen a lot of people hating on the 121 update. I don't think people should have opinions just yet. Just because we don't know everything that's going to be added. Inside of 120, it was a smaller update compared to what Minecraft have done. But I think that's the route they're going now. Since the whole Fireflies incident, they don't seem to be bringing big massive updates out. I think the last big update we had was 118. But that was a whole big thing where they split 117 and 118. And then also Archaeology was meant to be in 117 slash 18. Also so was the Warden, but that was delayed. I think they set their goals way too high for what they could produce in the time they were given. It currently seems like release dates are the beginning of June every year, as that is what they've done for the last 3-4 updates now. Currently for 121, let's just recap what is confirmed to be added. The Crafter will be added inside of this update. Same with the Breed same with the trial chambers and then also the copper blocks and all the tough blocks the armadillo is currently being released in 120.5 as it's not within experimental toggles for 121 which is another topic as i think that is really weird how they are adding a mob outside of a major update but maybe that might be a regular thing now with mob votes maybe they'll be added as soon as they are ready rather than in the next major update as long as the major update isn't removed from because of that entity now if you things we can look forward to inside of upcoming snapshots the trial key is currently an item that has no use at all you can collect it in survival mode but it does nothing so in upcoming snapshots this will get a use we don't know what the use will be but one thing i was looking at is the organization of creative tabs is pretty well organized in certain categories and if you go to the ingredients tab where the trial key is found I thought it would be like up here with the stick or something, but it's actually not. It is down here with the enchantment related stuff. I don't know if that means it could have something to do with enchantments because it is a bit weird that it's right here. Why is it not like up here somewhere? Or that could just be a temporary spot. Someone who put it in the creative tab could have just threw it here because they didn't know where else to put it. Now I'm not saying that confirms the use for it because we really don't know what the use will be. Obviously, it being a key, normally keys represent opening or unlocking things. Minecraft don't always go with the most obvious use. We can also expect some changes to the trial chamber, as Minecraft devs did confirm that the version we currently have is a early version. I don't exactly know what that means. I don't know if there'll be major changes or just minor tweaks. I'm going more towards there'll be minor tweaks to improve them and make them a little bit better. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Bedrock Edition did get their first beta slash preview of this year. It released a few days ago and it didn't add anything major. It was just some tweaks to the armadillo and also some tweaks to things like the breeze and some other 121 features. The next snapshot should release hopefully late Jan to early February and that will include the changes to the armadillo. But that won't be for 121. It will be for 120.5. Now, let's quickly just give a little bit about the trial chamber. The trial chamber is a really good structure. It's unique and different from what Minecraft currently have within the game. 
There are some changes I would make to the structure though. That would make it a little bit more random to the player. I would add more secrets. There is currently a few secret rooms. One of the main ones being if I head to the starting room, which is the one with the tree inside. Uh, where's the one with the tree? There should always be the starting room. This room right here. If you head down these stairs and then around to this back part, behind this lamp and this grate, there is a hidden a copper door, which just leads to a bed and a chest. I think it would be cool if there was more things like this hidden around. So maybe if we head over to this other side, there could be a hidden door right here, which leads to something else. This is not a hidden part. This can be accessed from going up and around. But I think more hidden areas would be really cool. I also think some kind of maze would be really cool as a room. So for example, this room right here could have a maze inside of it. Now I know players can break blocks so it would make the maze kind of pointless. But it would be something that the player could complete if they wanted to. As the rooms currently consist of little parkour jumps like this. Or just random platforms that you have to stand on or climb up. And then there is also some rooms that are a little bit harder if we head around like this one over here. This one is completely covered in powdered snow. What is stone bricks around this? Huh? I've never seen this around before. What does this spawn? Silverfish. Oh, I never knew silverfish could spawn from a trial spawner. That's really cool. I like that. I didn't know they were a possibility. I knew slimes were. I didn't know silverfish were. The final two pieces I'm going to say for the trial chamber. I think there needs to be some more unique mobs. I have seen some people mention the skeletons that spawn the poison arrows. I don't think they're within this structure. But it's the ones with like red mushrooms around the spawner and bone blocks. People think they should have a different skin to the normal skeleton. So you can see that they're different without actually having to go close to them. And I think that would be cool. I think the structure does need some unique mobs. A reason to come here and maybe collect a mob that you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. The only mob currently that is unique to this structure is the Breeze. I also do think some other cool mobs like a boss mob would be cool. Maybe at the very end of the structure, there would be a room that would always spawn a boss-like mob. Maybe it don't have to be as overpowered as the Wither, the Warden, or the Ender Dragon. It could be like a mini boss, kind of like the Elder Guardian or the Ravager. But I think a cool, unique thing that would make players want to come here and challenge the chamber. One final thing that I've just noticed while recording this video. There is some random hidden things. They're not like hidden rooms, but there's a random trapdoor here. Which, if we go into crawl mode, you can crawl like an air vent. I like that. That's cool. More things like this would also be cool. I don't know if this can be found anywhere else or if it's only the one right there. I haven't seen it anywhere else, although it might be something that you can find. And then the final thing I want to mention in this video, I think the breeze needs a unique drop. It is currently completely pointless to fight, apart from the player wanting to experience it for the first time. But once you've experienced it, it's not something that you'd want to go for. It's like the blaze, and the blaze is a big part of completing Minecraft. So it would be cool if these had a new drop, maybe a breeze rod, or if they don't want to go the same route as the blaze. It could simply be like a new type of projectile or something like that. It could even drop like an item to make a new type of block, a wind block, or even a block the colour of its head. But anyway, that is where I'm going to end this video. Let me know what you guys think of these talking videos. I done one of them last week where we spoke about the armadillo and some improvements and changes that the armadillo needs in my opinion and i thought i'd do it again if you guys do like videos like this then do let me know in the comments and i guess if you did enjoy do leave a like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one